so it was the year before, so 2011, August, um, 12th of August, as I might remember. Uh, went out on patrol, um, a normal patrol, but unfortunately my patrol got hit. There was myself and five others. Um, I got ball bearings on my knees and a few of the others were quite seriously injured, especially my boss, Lieutenant Clack. So I treated all the rest of the guys in the checkpoint and put as many as I could onto the helicopter to get back to Bastion. And I stayed in the checkpoint, so I, I got it because of keeping myself off the ground when I was injured as well, I think. I guess at the time you, you felt you were just doing your job and never expected to get this kind of recognition. No, definitely not. Things like this happen every day out there, so I was just doing the same as what other people do, so certainly not recognition for it, it's just our job. David, how important is it that service personnel like Haley get this kind of national recognition in the media and by the public? Yeah. I think it's massively important. Like the military have a, obviously have their honours and awards system, that's really important. But I think it's great for the public to ha be stakeholders and play a part in this, and be able to nominate people and see them win. And obviously the winners, they have a video recreation made with big budget of, of what happened. And I think it really translates for the viewer what these, I mean, she Haley says it happens every day, you know, you know it's, it's extraordinary what people at Haley do and they can get a glimpse of what those with head cam footage and whatnot. And I think it's, it's so important for the people at home to really have a proper understanding of what these guys do. Hayley, you said at the time you didn't expect to get this kind of recognition. Has it changed your life much? Um, it hasn't in the sense of my day-to-day -day stuff. I'm still in the army, my husband's still in the army, and we're just carrying on like that. But it's certainly made me think about things differently. Cause How? In the sense that it was such a big night um, obviously meeting all the celebrities and all that but as well other people speaking to me and civilians obviously seeing it and approaching me and saying like what a good job we're all doing and it's so nice for me and I'm sure for everybody else that for these awards that happen every year like I say it's happening every day and I think it comes across for everybody that's in the forces that are doing this so it's nice to see that side of things definitely. Obviously with Helen Mirren it was pretty strange. <laughs> you, you looked like, oh, and you gave her a big hug as yeah. well. <laughs> was it not a bit overwhelming? It, yeah, without a doubt. With any of the celebrities there, it's overwhelming. And even with the celebrities not there, the whole event, it's in the Imperial War Museum for starters. So, yeah, just so surreal. And what but, did she say to you? Oh, she was so nice. Just, it was like she was just a normal person. <laughs> she was just, she, the thing that was weird was she was pleased to meet all of us. And she was just, yeah, just lovely, all of them are, so. So, David, you're looking for nominations. How mm. do people not get nominated and what kind of people are you looking for? Well, people like Hayley, I mean, there's lots of categories, you know, like Best Reservist, Life Saver, which Hayley won, Best Unit, Best Soldier, Sailor, Airman and, and, and whatnot, and Best Unit. So there's lots and lots of categories. I just would say to people, as a little personal plea, you know, don't leave it to someone else or don't assume that someone else has been nominated by the CEO or something. Just, you know, uh, it only takes one nomination. You know, we, we're looking for those gems. We're looking for those little stories that don't get, you know, media attention. They don't get in the newspapers because we don't often hear about them because people like Hayley think that it's normal business and people like me who are not in the military think it's absolutely bonkers and crazy and amazing. So we want to hear those little gems and we want to celebrate them. And the deadline? Uh, it's September 9th, so a week on Monday. So not long. We don't have long. So get on, get on board. I don't take five minutes and, and, and do it. Please do it.